Driving through the Snowdonia Mountains was almost like going into another world. You just hit the mountains and you were driving through them and the scenery and the energy and yeah, it was almost like going through your own little portal to get out there. Just the drive through the landscape was so much a part of it. You could really see the energy and uh, come alive there really as you went through. It's a very magical journey just being able to ride through the country and not have to think about the driving or how you're getting somewhere, leaving it to someone else and you could just be enjoy in your it. space and enjoy everything around you. And It seems that wherever we went, well, most places, there is so much water and it just felt like each time we encountered a new waterfall, of which there were many, many waterfalls, and, or stream or lake, that they're everywhere. And it's another form of sort of cleansing and getting you ready for the next experience. I know Jamie as our guide has to keep us on his schedule, but I never really felt rushed. I really felt like wherever we were, we could take our time and really feel the energy of the, the place. And remember coming around the corner and walking through the gate and just I could feel the energy and my heart just swelling. I felt like we bonded the very first day and then to go to that site and bond with the ancestors, what more could you ask for? But I knew that when we were dowsing by Arthur Stone uh, or his grave, um, I think, I believe I found the right main lay uh, <clears throat> without much effort on my part, uh, which was very interesting that I was a novice and yet able to use the instruments. Yeah, I thought it was really interesting to show the relationship between the energy <clears throat> minds the lays that you're picking up on the physical ground and then relate them back to the the map of the whole area so you can trace the the lay and then go to the other site where we actually experienced it again and that was a really nice combination of theory and practice mm -hmm. I really loved that Linda was doing tarot readings and every morning we would pick a card and it really helped to set up the day for what I was looking for, what I, what I wanted to grow in that day. It was like walking through this magical forest and making all these discoveries along the way and then seeing the whole foundation of the fort or, or castle up at the top. And even if it's difficult making it to the top, which is your goal, you might be struggling. But once you get there, you just realize it was worth it. And you forget that you struggled up the way, really. The energy of the group when we all got to the top, just we all sort of settled. It became, that, that was probably one of the most peaceful places 
I experienced and I really needed that peace in my life right now. Um, but the, also that sense of connection that that place was acting upon all of us communally. Um, that was one of the sweetest moments, just lying up there, sitting around the fort, um, Jamie reading that story to us. Uh, it just, I felt transported to a time when, you know, people may have been educated or learned in that way, just gathering and listening to storytelling. It's a very special part of the trip for me. One other thing about the the lays and the power spots is that all these different places that we visited, they seem to be on these power spots. And so it was nice to actually go and be able to feel what a really powerful place in the land feels like and experience that every day. Everyone there seemed to be moved, you know, really deeply by the location of the place, you know, even more than the building itself, even though the building was magnificent, really. That church with the bleeding yew trees, 540 A.D., I mean, that is really pretty old, that site, and you could feel it there, too. Today at Arthur Stone with the wild horses were oh, just yeah, absolutely fun. amazing that they just were there to greet us, and we were ready to go. They, they were, bid us farewell. And that, and then they just kind of took off and did whatever it is that they do otherwise and the cows came over <laughs> to see them off that was a great great experience i really like that